Thank you very much. If you have a question, please raise your hand. We'll have microphones uh, to get to you. So we'll go ahead and start here on the front left with uh, Bob. Go ahead. Uh, hey, Matt. Bob Holt, Arkansas Democrat Gazette. You obviously had a great year, a lot of great games. Arkansas was atypical. Looking back, what do you think happened in that game t with all the picks? And how did you bounce back from that? Because a lot of guys have a game like that. They might you know, go in a hole and not get out of it. Uh, you know, I'm not one for excuses at all. Um, you know, that game was fully my fault. Uh, I take full responsibility for that. And, um, you know, I've, it's just that I've never experienced a drop eight before. Prior to that, I've never, I never went through the ins and outs of drop eight. Uh, it's those, those mistakes were fixable. You know, as I watched the film over and over, you can see the open man. You can see I just didn't have the right thought process in that uh, playing against that defense. And I can promise you one thing, that next time I play that defense, it's going to be much different. <laughs> Matt, we'll go over here to the left-hand side on third row. Hey, Matt. Chase Goodrow with NFL.com. I, I got an NIL question for you. A lot of the agents feel like they can uh, build a good relationship with a player and then because of that relationship get them to sign the NFL contract later on. Do you see it that way or, or is it a separate decision for you? Um, it's definitely a separate decision for me. but. You know, I, there is a lot of people that are trying to, you know, take it in that direction for sure. Okay, we'll go right here in front in the second row. <clears throat> hey, Matt, uh, Joey Blackwell from BamaCentral.com. Between yourself, JT Daniels, and Bryce Young, there are three quarterbacks in the SEC, starting quarterbacks that are from Southern California. You know, combine that with DJ Uyangalale and then CJ Stroud from, from Ohio State. You know, there's a lot of Southern California talent in college football. You know, first off, what's in the water from where you're from? And secondly, um, how do you feel about having those three starting quarterbacks from your region in the SEC? You know, I grew up playing against those guys or just going to camps with them, and it's really – you know, it's, it's really, truly a blessing just to see, you know, watch us grow, uh, not only as football players, but as men, and just to see how we changed and uh, evolved. Um, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to each and one of their seasons, and I, I know they're going to do really well. Okay, we're going to go over here on the right-hand side. We have a question over here on the right. Okay, send it. All right, we'll go back over here on the left-hand side. Back over, Parrish, go ahead. Hey, Matt. Parrish Alford, Daily Journal. Um, Lane said he'd like to see you become more consistent. What do you think, what areas do you feel like you need to be more consistent in? Uh, you know, I believe that he's talking about just, you know, the Arkansas game, excuse me, the Arkansas game, the LSU games, you know, you know, minusing those turnovers and, you know, ultimately just minusing those turnovers. And that's going to come from, you know, film study and just understanding what, what looks we're going to get when we run this specific, you know, 12 personnel, 11 personnel, 10 personnel, or, you know, whatever the case may be, just having a, having a plan and if not, being able to respond to, to what's different when we get out there. Okay, we'll stay right there, right next door. Michael Katz from the Daily Journal. Uh, there was an, an article uh, on CBS today where you kind of talked about mental health and that sort of thing. I'm, I'm curious why that's something that you're passionate talking about. Not everybody is, is willing to be open uh, about that sort of thing. Um, you know, the whole COVID, you know, was really a blessing for me. You know, we had a whole two months off. It felt like, I, I want to say we had a full two months off. Um, you know, I, and I learned a lot about myself, just, you know, understanding who I am as a person and understanding my weaknesses and, focusing on my weaknesses to make them my strengths. And, uh, you know, that, that one thing, that, uh, that interview that I had with Dennis Dodd, uh, you know, it wasn't even like an interview. I was talking to him on the track at a, at a high school, at a high school campus. And, uh, you know, for me, it was a little, I had a little different experience growing up. You know, I'd, I'm not, I wasn't the richest kid, but I wasn't the poorest. Uh, but you know, I believe we all end up in a place for a reason, and I think a lot of people need to understand that. And uh, you know, not everyone's going to understand your point of view, but as long as you do and you're doing the right thing, I think you know that's ultimately what matters. Okay, we're going to go in the center section. Abby, go ahead. Your question. Hey, Matt. Connor Riley, Dog Nation. Wanted to ask you what you remember competing against JT Daniels with growing up, and sort of what you make of his game. You know, I think JT Daniels is a great, great quarterback. Uh, 
you know, he is truly your typical Southern California quarterback. Uh, he's been one of the best ever since, you know, we've been in seventh grade. I remember we, uh, it was a FBU, um, it was a FBU North or FBU All-American team, and it, it was or FBU All-Star team, and he was playing for the OC, Orange County, and I was playing for North LA, and he was always beating me, always beating my team. So there's definitely, you know, I, I, I wish we, I get, I hope we get to play him this uh, this season, um, but you know, just just seeing him grow, like I said, and watching watching everybody evolve from when I was being I was knee high with these kids and. You know, it's really a blessing just to see how everything turns out for us. Okay, we're going to go all the way to the back in the center. Hey, Matt. Trey Andy with BamaInsider.com. Your matchup last year with Alabama was a really high-scoring game, and you guys came close but lost in an emotional one. Talk about the matchup this season, week four, what you're excited about, going up against Bryce Young, somebody that you have a history with as well. Um, like I said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun, man. I mean, I, like, I've competed with these guys since I was a freshman in high school. Uh, Bryce Young, I, I didn't really know until high school, um, but he's, he's another great one, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. Okay, we'll go center section along this left aisle. Matt, um, John Sokoloff with WCBI-TV in, in Columbus. You mentioned earlier fixing uh, some of the mistakes like you had in the Arkansas and the LSU game, but Daniel Jeremiah mentioned earlier that he thinks you could be primed to make the similar jump that Zach Wilson made to being such a high draft pick. I mean, what kind of role has Lane played in you being able to unlock this level of your game? Um, you know, it's not, it is Lane and it is, I think it's a accommodation of everybody, you know, Coach Levy, C Coach Kiffin, you know, they've all done a great job of, you know, forming me into this, into this quarterback ultimately, and not only a quarterback, but a per better person off the field. Um, you know, but they changed my whole thought process, man. They changed my whole thought process and how I look at a defense and how I just approach the game and the way I, the way I, uh, the way I get ready for a game. It's, it's something different that I didn't do two years ago when I was a freshman. And now it's, now it's become habit. And, um, you know, I'm truly, I'm blessed to, I got lucky with them. I did. Hey, we're going to stay in that center section in the middle. Hey, Matt. Uh, Brooks Cabina from The Advocate. Uh, NIL question for you. Uh, Lane Kevin was talking to us about how he uses Twitter, how he, and he, he seems to have a profile on that. And it seems like a lot of that NIL seems to be having kind of a brand, a, an awareness on, on Twitter. Do you learn anything from him and how to approach that? Does he talk to you all about how to use that and maybe create a little bit of presence uh, there? Not necessarily him, but Ole Miss has done a good job of helping us, uh, you know, navigating through this, you know, crazy time because if you don't know what you're doing it could get you know really cloudy and you could end up doing something that could hurt you in the in your future um, but you know I've taken a different approach to it uh, you see everybody across the country trying to get what they can with any deal any company whatever it is uh, you know I'm, I'm all about making the right deals you know one that's we're looking for long-term deals that not necessarily are going to hurt me in the long run, um, you know, because I don't want to, you know, burn the, burn the bridges with relate uh, with companies that I haven't even made relationships with. Man, we're going to go over here on the right-hand side. Robert Sesson, the Bryan College Station Eagle. What are your thoughts when you weren't able to play A&M last year, coming off that tough loss as a freshman, and does it add, add a little to this year's game? Uh, you know, that was. Definitely, a and a great team and uh, would have definitely wanted to see how we matched up against them. Uh, you know, I'm look, I I'm, don't think we play them this year. I'm not sure, but, um, uh, you know, definitely, uh, yeah. <laughs> Did we play them this year? We do? Okay, well, I'm looking forward to that matchup. <laughs> <laughs> One game at a time. All right, Bob, go ahead. Um, I had kind of a part to yeah, get back to the original question I asked you about maintaining your confidence after the Arkansas game and then the key to that and what's your confidence level going into this season to kind of take your game even to a higher level and then uh, Nick Saban apparently said down at the Texas high school coaches convention or whatever that their quarterback who hadn't even started has got almost a million dollar almost seven figures in uh, NIL what do you think about that and how, how are you doing with it um, as for the confidence uh, deal, um, you know, 
Coach Kiffin and Levy, they put, they kept me in that game for a reason. You know, they didn't yank me. They made they made sure that I was a guy. Uh, they made sure that I knew that I knew that I was a guy, and I think that was that that spoke volume to me. Um, that spoke volume to the team, and you know that gave me the confidence in myself that I could bounce back from it. And you know, Kiffin was. He brought me into that uh, into the room after that game, and he, he told me that there's a reason that he didn't pull me. You know, he said he believed in me. He said, I, I, I believe what you can do. I believe in your ability, and you know, you're our guy moving forward. Like, um, there's no issue. There's no issue with me. We're gonna get it fixed. So I mean, just having that relationship with him helped a lot. Nil. Yeah. Um, as for the nil. Uh, you know, that, that's really a blessing. I think it's going to be really good for people who didn't have the luxury growing up. The, these five-star kids coming from, you know, the, the slums of Miami, you know, that just didn't really get the luxury of, you know, other kids on the football team did. And just being able to, just being able to create a, a different opportunity for their family. Okay, we're going to go straight in front of me right here in the center section, about four rows back. Hey, Matt, Stefan Kreisnik with the Daily Journal. I know you've gotten a taste of the Egg Bowl in the past, but this year, you know, things kind of getting back to normal. You get to go to Starkville to play. I mean, just how excited are you about that matchup? I mean, playing against State, it's always a good one. Uh, definitely looking forward to it. The, the, the energy in that game is it's unmatched. It's unmatched. And I, I, for those who have been there, you, you can, you can attest, to that, attest to that. Definitely looking forward to it. Time for maybe one or two more, if there are any questions for Matt. All right, we've got, all right, we'll get, <laughs> go to Bob. Say I'm the worst. <laughs> oh, sorry, me. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Hey, sorry to keep harping on this Arkansas game. I'm sure it's one you'd probably like to flush, but you sort of alluded to it, but how, how much extra motivation might you have for that, that game when you guys play Arkansas? Um, I mean, none really. I just I know I messed up, and I know I have an opportunity to fix it. That's the that's all the motivation I need. All right, Matt. Thank you for your time. Thank you. All right.